Hello and welcome to my first drive impression of the all new Kia Sonnet. Now the word Sonnet means a poem and this is pure poetry from Kia that redefines standards and ups the ante and takes people's expectations in the subcompact SUV segment to a completely different level. So what all have they packed in and have they left anything else out is the question because this comes feature packed beyond the brim, beyond your expectation. What are you waiting for? Let's not waste any more time. Let's get this review started. So guys talking about the design built based on the K1 platform and they have taken the muscular factor, the X factor and the contemporary uh, factor. I mean compact, contemporary, compelling are the three words that come to your mind when you cast your eyes for the first time. Just look at the design language. It is so aggressive, so up to date and so futuristic and sporty all at the same time. The DRLs uh, look like that of uh, the protruding teeth of a beast and then you have the star map uh, headlamps led uh, headlamps almost everything is led the headlamps the drls as well as the fog lamp part and the grill is further chiseled to make it look a little more aggressive like that of a predator ready to take on its prey muscular bonnet lines and uh, the front bumper is again very very contemporary and futuristic and sporty uh, trying to appeal to the young professionals of today's day and age Moving on to the profile, taking center stage here are the 16 inch alloy wheels. We have four different uh, alloy types to choose from and the best part is Kia have equipped the Sonnet with four disc brakes all around which adds on to the confidence level when you're pushing the car to its limits. Also body cladding all around, flared wheel arches highlight the SUV character lurking underneath. You also have neatly incorporated uh, roof rails and the X-Line matte black color looks super slick and super sexy in every aspect. Moving on to the rear, taking center stage here is the tail lamp design. I mean the end-to-end -end star map connecting LED design really stands out among its competition and captivates your senses from the very first glance. Again, what is uh, really improving the overall design silhouette is the inclusion of the integrated rear spoiler and the shark fin antenna, a sporty rear bumper and of course the matte black color really uh, takes away your breath each time you look at it moving on to the interior the best part is the seat is something that i uh, usually look forward to the back support and uh, that's what uh, gives you a sense of comfort the moment you step into the cabin now as good as have they worked on the exterior, they have really taken the interior part to another level as well. All black interiors, uh, the kind of accents they have given on the air vents, the massive 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system and also the 10.25 inch full color speedo console with the MID adds on to the futuristic feel and the sporty feel and the contemporary feel on the inside as well flat bottom steering wheel again gives you a premium feel has a soft touch feel to it all the controls at the tip of your fingers and this one comes with adas level one so safety is of paramount importance and they have really underscored safety in every aspect possible by giving six airbags as standard talking about the convenience feature Kia have again gone ahead and introduced first of its kind four-way electrically adjustable seat for front and back recline angle as well as front and back movement which is really really good apart from that you also get tilt and okay only tilt steering no telescopic adjustment but still that is okay you also get paddle shifters because this is a diesel automatic and all the controls right here at the tip of your fingers now talking about the central console this is the 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system with android auto apple carplay support and then of course uh, you also have the bose sound system with seven speakers that offer an immersive sound uh, experience then you have ventilated seats again for the first time in this segment that is absolutely phenomenal so they're really taking uh, the comfort and uh, luxury features to another level in this segment and then of course you also have a 360 degree camera 
so which you can actually orientate as per your position will so you can see a complete 360 degree view because there are four cameras all around and then there's also an ADAS camera right up here so that uh, works as the radar as well so you have guidelines as well as you can see so the visibility the clarity of the camera is really high resolution and they have used the complete screen uh, properly i mean the real estate of the screen has been used judiciously uh, that is something we don't see in some of the cars even the higher segment cars refrain from doing that but here you can see kia have used the screen space uh, properly to give us a very clear and crisp view of 360 degree view and uh, then of course you have uh, other features as well when it comes to sound mood uh, you have sound mood lamp and you also have other settings say for instance get it to the setup mode get into sound here you have uh, premium sound as uh, speed compensation and positioning of the speakers then the equalizer that you can uh, customize as per your preference and other features and uh, the best part however has to be the different uh, themes that have been offered so if you can see this is the full color uh, speedo console uh, fully digital speedo console has different animation and different uh, uh, you know layouts custom themes so here you have the different uh, themes to play around with that is classic a b and c so let's see if we switch to classic a this is the one uh, layout of the digital uh, theme this is a sporty layout because you can see the track circuit animation and then you have the third display which is again uh, maybe uh, normal or eco mode and uh, the display themes have to be customized or changed personally by you because if you are changing the drive mode i would have loved the theme to change as per the drive mode but here when i'm changing the drive mode it shows sport it doesn't change the animation as you can see so you can drive in the eco with a different uh, layout theme or you can drive in the normal in the different layout so it doesn't change as well so i would have preferred this track layout for the sport uh, maybe eco layout in the blue uh, color and the normal layout for the city driving mode so anyway that's how it is as of now the themes don't change as for the driving modes but uh, you can different uh, change among the different or choose among the different driving modes available and then of course even traction you have snow mud and sand so that is again uh, really really uh, going the uh, extra mile in trying to offer this kind of features in this segment so they've also gone ahead and incorporated some english voice commands so let's see how that works sunroof khol do सनरूफ बंद करो सो नाउ लुकिंग एट द डोर ओपनिंग एंगल इफ यू कैन सी इट इज नॉट कंप्लीटली नाइंटी डिग्री ओपन मे बी इट्स लिटिल अराउंड एटी डिग्री ओपन सो गेटिंग इन इज काइंड ऑफ ओके एंड एस्पेशली एट द बैक अगेन दिस इज इवन शार्पर सो नॉट इवन एटी डिग्री सो फॉर एल्डर्स टू गेट इन एंड आउट ऑफ द कैबिन इट माइट बी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ हैसल सो लेट्स जस्ट गेट इन टू द कैबिन so they have claimed that they have worked on improving the knee room by giving scooped out seats and uh, i mean scooped out seat backs we have a little bit of uh, storage here but if i sit up uh, they have also worked on trying to improve the under thigh support is what they claimed at yesterday's uh, briefing and uh, overall knee room is significantly improved that's a good thing and also headroom is very generously available even for people up to 6 feet tall and uh, the support for the back and the thigh is well sorted also adding on to the convenience is the smart air purifier which is kind of a must have these days and dedicated air con vents again beautiful accents around it to give it a premium feel type c charging slots you have two dedicated charging slots for the rear seat passengers we also have dedicated headrest for two passengers at the back and a uh, central armrest with cup holders practicality is well sorted because you have bottle holders on all four doors you have spacious glove box and then of course you also have a chintu mintu sunroof as faisal puts it another useful feature to have on board especially in the summers is a rare you know curtain so rear sun blinds 
are offered uh, in the Kia Sonnet. Again, uh, first in its class feature. So, well done Kia in terms of practicality. Well, talking about practicality further, you have a spacious boot. I can say most spacious in class, uh, 385 litres to accommodate big suitcases for quick airport runs and uh, you can make way for more room by folding flat the 60-40 split seats and you can go camping with your friends uh, casually on the weekends. Talking about the powertrains on options, you have three powertrains to choose from. One is the turbo petrol, 1 litre, 3 cylinder turbo petrol, then you have the 1.2 litre naturally aspirated petrol and this one my friend is the 1.5 litre turbo diesel engine that uh, puts out uh, around uh, 115 PS of max power and 215 Newton meters of max torque and it has uh, different transmission options. You have the 6 speed manual which is my personal favourite, then you have the 6 speed IMT and then you have the torque converter gearbox which is what this X-Line variant is equipped with. So guys, safety is of paramount importance especially when you're buying the car of your dreams for your loved ones. So Kia have gone ahead and redefined standards by offering 6 airbags as standard right from the base variant and also 15 safety features are being offered as standard which includes electronic stability control, uh, hill hold assist and traction control, different modes for traction control and several other safety features that we see coming as standard in this segment. Apart from that, it also comes with ADAS level 1, which means what you see here is the ADAS camera. You also have two cameras on each of the outside rear view mirrors, one camera up front, one at the back. Those are four and the fifth camera is the radar camera, which works for ADAS or advanced driver assistance system level 1, which comes with lane keep assist, uh, you know, collision warning collision uh, avoidance technique and also the best part is the auto leveling headlamp i mean uh, it adjusts the high beam especially when it senses a car or vehicle coming from the opposite side this is a life-saving feature because it can really blind you uh, the high beam if you're uh, driving with the high beam on in uh, the city so what this does is the headlamp leveler adjusts the uh, intensity of the beam and to lower uh, setting, to low beam, uh, when it senses a vehicle from the opposite side and again goes back to high beam setting. So that is a very clever feature that uh, can act as a lifesaver in real world conditions. So another clever safety feature is the BVM or blind view monitor. So when you turn on the left indicator, the left uh, camera is activated. Similarly, when you turn on the right indicator, the right side camera is activated to eliminate blind spots and give you a clear vision of what's happening on either side. So connected car tech is the thing of today's day and age. Everyone wants connected car features. So this one uh, comes with 70 connected car features which includes Alexa home compatibility. And then you can actually lock unlock the car. So as you can see, uh, going through the user interface of the app, this is the home page. You have the range here and uh, then you have uh, different uh, remote uh, operations that uh, can be done. You can open the window, close the window and you can start or stop the engine you can lock or unlock the car you can actually see uh, the details or the vital statistics of the car so smart surround view is something that we have actually activated now it is supposed to light up the drls five times activate the current view take a complete 360 degree uh, picture of what's happening around the car and uh, shows on the app so let's see whether that works or not there you go it starts blinking and uh, now it is supposed to stitch together a 360 degree image of what's happening around the car uh, that can be done from the comfort of your home if you're wondering about whether your car is safe downstairs or not or whether if you're traveling and you want to check the status of the car, whether there's some kind of people trying to do some kind of mischief around your car, you can always check who is in and around your car with the current view option. And uh, there you can see the image has been stitched and here you have different angles of uh, the entire image being stitched around the 360 degree. So left view, rear view, right view, front view and the top view.